Hello everyone, this is Lamid Sane of Code Logical, and in today's video we're gonna have a look at how to decorate controllers in Ember.js. So sometimes you want to add extra properties to your controller in addition to your model. So let's have a look at one instance where we might want to do that. So we are inside our index route here as highlighted and it is providing a model hook which will provide a model to the index route as well as the index controller. But sometimes we Let's say we want to add another property there to say, um, let's say owner, for example. Um, that's probably not practical here, but let's just stick with that. So, but owner isn't directly related to this model here. It has no place in model because based on what the model is returning, it's just an array of colors. So how do we add another property in the controller um, as we're entering this route? And there's something called setup um, controller in ember and you add it to your route and it should be a function okay and this function takes two parameters by default ember calls it for you and then it provides you two arguments in there and the first one is the controller and the second one is the model okay so inside here you can do stuff like controller dot set something or take the model get a property from it so let's say in this case we want to set the owner we can say controller dot set and then we can say owner and let's say um let's just put my name or actually tom dale yeah so now let's go in the um template for the index and just output the owner there let's just remove all of actually let's let's leave it there so behind, underneath we'll just do um just say owner uh, okay so if everything goes right we should see tom dale being output there so back in our browser and then we refresh as you can see saying owner Tom Dale okay so you may be wondering why the this array of um, colors isn't being output and the reason for that is since we provided the setup hook here now we have to set up the model for the controller um, explicitly because if you don't provide this setup controller Ember does that for you in the background but since we did setup controller we have to um, set the um, control the model for the controller inside here so we can do controller dot set this is what ember does for you automatically dot set um model and we just do model here when we go back in our browser now we should see just on top of owner tom dale here the list of colors as we normally do okay and as you can see this list of um, so the controller now has a model and it also has another property called thumbnail so let's inspect that in the ember inspector here so we go in the inspector go to um, routes um, here's our um, index controller uh, let's just um, as you can see there's another property here it says um, owner thumbnail okay so just to make sure that that's coming in from our setup controller hook Let's just totally comment this out. Okay. And we'll also comment out the owner here, just so Ember doesn't automatically try to create it for us. So when we refresh, we shall see that there's nothing being shown here. And when we go to routes and the index controller, we can see that there's nothing, um, no property called owner inside here. Okay. So that's it guys, that's um, how you decorate a controller um, from your route. Anytime that route has been entered and you want to set some properties on that controller, um, you can do it inside the setup controller hook. So that's what that's the end of this video and um, thanks for watching. Um, this was helpful, please do subscribe and share the videos. I'm very grateful for you watching, thanks for watching, I will see you soon. Bye bye.